give you a quick tour of the boat, how it works, what I have on board, the equipment, some upgrades that I did, um, and I'm also going to bring you along on a little trip. So this is a 2002 Striper. Um, it is a Sea Swirl, manufacturer of Sea Swirl, and this is the 1851. So it's a 19 and something foot long boat with a cub cabin. And it also has a Yamaha 115 horsepower two stroke four cylinder. Seats seven people. Um, I could probably fit more on it if I wanted to actually. A lot of LED lights. Um, so I'm going to go through that with you. Um, it is on a new 2014 trailer, so uh, really great boat. I got this a few months ago, and I um, really like it so far. So we're going to hop on board here, and the first thing you'll notice is upholstery, really good upholstery on it. I have new speakers. These are Kenwood speakers. Um, I have a set of four of them and uh, they work really great. I don't have any complaints with that. Um, the Yamaha has its own tach tach tachometer and sp speedometer and all the equipment on here, your gauges, navigation lights, everything's on board here. I got spotlights. I'll go ahead and turn everything on so you can see what that looks like. It is pretty bright out so you're not going to see it too well. but <clears throat> these LED lights were great. I got these off of Amazon. They work perfectly fine. Very, very bright at night. Then in the interior, I have LED lights underneath the cushions. And uh, again, at night, they're a lot brighter. I promise you. Cub cabin standard, but I do have recessed lights inside, so you can see that there is a lighting strip underneath that I hooked up, and it looks pretty good. A little bit of cleaning to do, but um, came out really great. Now I'm going to get back off the boot, and I'll show you the transom lights. You know, I I call them transom lights, um, but they are hooked up to my trim tabs and um, it's a standard LED it, it is submergible you know I ran the wiring to it um, I've been trying a few things with these transom lights I at first I had uh, really powerful LED headlights from for a car that I completely coated in in silicone and that's actually right here clear 100 percent silicone sealant this stuff you know it works great for boats it's probably not permanent but um, i'm sure there's a better material out there that you can use but this is available at every home depot it works great i use it to seal all the cracks and crevices um all of the holes in the transom you definitely want to seal up as best as you can and those are my transom lights. Um, if you are going to do this, um, you know, just know that this is uh, transom lights on a budget. It seems to be that um, you have two options. One option is to spend over $300 on uh, really high end, high quality transom lights. I'm not really in the market to spend $300 on transom lights, LED lights. Um, you know, I'm the kind of person that spends money on things that are worth it. I, that's just not worth that much money to me, but I do want transom lights. So I was in this little bit of a, a pickle there where I was really, uh, craving some transom lights, but, uh, I didn't want to spend $300. So I got these, wired them up and we're going to see how they work. I just installed them. We're going to go out on the boat and we're going to see how, how well they work. But anyways, that's the boat ebb and flow and we're going to go out into the open water and take it for a little test and see how it goes
Thanks for watching. Well, load it up, heading out.